today we will learn how to calculate voltage frequency and current using cro so first we will see about the voltage for to calculate the voltage using the cro we will use here a function generator from the function generator what we are giving we are giving a sine wave whose peak to peak voltage is 3 volt and applied frequency is 10 kilohertz the applied peak to peak voltage we can change using this uh, point is the amplitude like is the 3 volt so we can vary 3 to 4 and see from this also now it is also vary if you do 5 see here so like this way you can change the value of voltage and the value this value is the peak to peak voltage so again i am putting exact 3 volt here and if you want to change the frequency then use this button come here 10 kilohertz and then where it is like this way 9 then 8 see here you will change you will see the change on the x axis because it is related is to time see here is the continuous change in the frequency i am changing when you are changing the voltage you will see the variation on the y axis because we measure the voltage on the y axis okay so this is the variation in the voltage this is the continuous the variations and if you want to see the variation in the frequency then what you will see the variation in the x axis like this way if i am increasing the frequency you see this the time period is decreasing see i am increasing frequency so in the x axis we can see the variation in the frequency and on the y axis we can see the variation in voltage like this way. is it clear okay so now i am setting the voltage is the 3 volt and frequency is and this is around 10 kilohertz okay and this is the function which is related to function generator so here what we are getting we are getting a sine wave whose voltage is 3 volt and applied frequency is 10 kilohertz okay now we will come on the cro c first we will check what is the voltage so for that what we will do here see here what is the applied voltage applied voltage is the 3 volt so for that what we will do we will make a table first is the serial number then applied voltage then peak to peak length so peak to peak length is basically is the this one which we will call is the vertical length also is it clear then voltage sensitivity it means what is the voltage per division so that we will see from here you see this this is related to voltage division because we are uh, discussing for the first channel if we are discussing about the second channel we have to move with this then peak to peak voltage so what will be the exact value of the peak to peak voltage so for that what you will do you will multiply peak to peak length by the voltage per division so that will give the peak to peak voltage then we will calculate the peak voltage which we also call is the maximum voltage so it is divided by 2 after that we will calculate the rms value so we divide our peak voltage or uh, you can say the maximum voltage divided by root 2 so that will give the rms value so in this case what we are applying we are applying 3 volt is it okay then see the peak to peak length peak to peak length is nothing but it is the vertical length so it's the 1 2 3 and you see two division more so this is basically becomes equal to 1 2 3 2 and 4 so it's becomes equal to Three point four. So three point four is the vertical length. Now 
what is my voltage sensitivity so you see this is here is the one volt per division so i will write here one okay then it means for peak to peak voltage comes equal to 3.4 volt okay then we will call calculate the peak voltage peak voltage or the maximum voltage is the half of peak to peak so it becomes equal to 1.7 yes sir okay then rms value 1.7 divided by root okay you can vary this voltage sensitivity also like this way this way or you can see very like this way so in this case what happening you see your length is 1 then 1 2 3 division so 1 division is 0.2 0.4 0.6 so 1.6 1.6 this 1.6 is multiplied by 2 Or is it exactly one? How much it is? One point six or one point seven middle, I think. See 1. here. One point seven. One point seven. So in this case, what happening? You are applying same voltage, but here you have. What you are doing here? You may change the voltage sensitivity. So if I am changing the voltage sensitivity, what is the effect here see here the vertical length will decrease here so now it becomes 1.7 volt and the vo voltage per division becomes equal to again 2 so peak voltage is again comes the same value then you calculate maximum value and this maximum value if i divided by root 2 then i will get the rms value so this is way to calculate the voltage using cr okay now we will see the second part second part is the frequency so for that what we are doing to calculate the frequency using cro what we have to do we have to take care about our x axis because on the cro x axis will give the time period okay so here we will see like a sine wave what we require we have to move like this way so this complete cycle gives the time t and that we want to calculate so that is suppose it's the sine wave so either you move from this to this or you move from maximum to maximum it will give the complete time period for a cycle so see here from this to this what you are getting one and two division okay so here you applying the 10 kilohertz frequency 10 kilohertz frequency okay now what we see here we see the peak to peak length so peak to peak length which type of the length horizontal length here because here we are measuring frequency so the x axis is important that's the reason we are saying here we have horizontal length so here peak to peak horizontal length becomes equal to 2 division okay so we will write here two then see time base it means time per division so come here see here time is 50 microsecond okay so you will write here 50 and microsecond is it clear then you will calculate the time period how this peak to peak length horizontal length which is 2 multiplied by this 50 into 10 ki power minus 6 because 50 microsecond is the time base it means what we will say here how much time per division so that we will see from here okay so what basically it becomes equal to 100 into 10 ki power minus 6 or you can say 10 ki power minus 4 second this is our time now you want to calculate the frequency 
so frequency is nothing but one upon time so this becomes equal to one upon ten ki power minus four this becomes equal to ten into ten ki power three hertz and this becomes equal to ten kilohertz okay so this is the way to calculate here if you are changing the time base it means time per division then this value will also change see here like this way like this way like this way see what you are given time here 1 millisecond okay in this case see horizontal line for that you will arrange using the axis bar see here if you are saying your time base is 1 millisecond in that condition what you see peak to peak length is 1 peak to peak length is 1 so what you will write here again same frequency but here peak to peak length becomes equal to 1 but your time base is nothing but into 10 to the power minus 3 second because it is the 1 millisecond so total time period is comes equal to 1 millisecond again the frequency is 1 divided by 10 to the power minus 3 again becomes equal to same thing so every time what you are getting what you are getting is the point 1 or 1 point 1 point 1 it's okay so if it is point 1 then in that condition the base time is 10 to the power minus 3 oh sorry division is the one but your base time base time is equal to point 1 millisecond it means your time period again becomes equal to 1 divided um, uh, multiplied by point 1 millisecond so total time is millisecond in this condition what will be the frequency frequency is divided 1 by 0.1 millisecond 1 it's nothing but 10 to the power minus this so is again 10 into 10 to the power 3 so it's again becomes 10 kilohertz so whenever you are calculating the our frequency what is the length horizontal length it may decrease or increase it's totally depend on what time base you have it is time base is nothing but time per division so in the first in uh, in our case what we have seen first we have 50 microsecond and in the second case we consider 0.1 millisecond and see the after all result is same but you see here the variation on the cr so this is the way to calculate the frequency using cr you can change frequency from this point and then again calculate then change frequency then again calculate in the same way you change the voltage and see on the vertical length use your voltage sensitivity calculate so this is the way to calculate voltage and frequency using cr the third which is very important component to calculate the current using cr so directly we can note calculate current using cr for that what we have to do first you take your input from the function generator okay then connect the resistance in parallel which is the sunt resistance and from that you have to take your output in this cr so change the value of the resistance you have the value of resistance as well the voltage so divide this voltage by this resistance value you will get the current so for the different value of the resistance you will get the different value of the current if you want to verify your result what you have to do you have to use this function generator from this function generator put here the lead then put a any type of the emitter like we have a 
micro emitter so this is only to verify the things so it will be put the series of the function generator then take the part of this put in the resistance box resistance box be used to for your uh, particular value of the resistance and then put the second lead of our function generator is another part and connect your cro the parallel of this resistance and change the value of the resistance and accordingly to verify what is the current here the current value and voltage value which we are getting from this ammeter and voltmeter is basically is the rms values so this is the way to do this experiment okay